just checked out of my hotel and I was walking back to the bus station and I thought I wanted to take a quick video of something that I, you know, got to see yesterday and didn't make a video about. It's the uh, war cemetery of all the veterans that died building the, uh, not all of them, but most of them, it's the biggest one of three, that died building the uh, bridge over the river Quah. And uh, read about that story on Wikipedia, if you'll be able to kind of tell what it's about, you know, these, uh, the cemetery here. Some of you already know. That's really the reason I came here to Canterbury to visit, is because I wanted to see the bridge, and, and especially since I'm a veteran, I wanted to see all the veterans that were buried here. I'm told there's about 10,000 cemetery uh, grave sites there, and most of them are uh, in their late, early to mid 20s. So I think about when you were 24, 23, how much of your life you had ahead of you. And these guys, brave souls, gave up their life to, because their enemy forced them to work in a prison war camp to their death so that they could advance the efforts of their enemy. They didn't want to, but they had to. I just thought this might be part of the journey that was important for you to see. I know I wanted to. And it was definitely worth coming out to see this. get a sense of the place when you come into Thailand. All the food they're grilling is just really amazing. Street vendors and restaurants. There's the smell of barbecue grills everywhere. It's one of my favorite things about Thailand is the food. You have to watch out when you cross the street, that's for sure. Because they really are in the middle of their life and not thinking about foreigners, not knowing which way to cross the street. I have some additional pictures of this that I put up on the Instagram. I'm going to put up on my Instagram site. Oh, it's probably about 7.30 in the morning. And I will get to the bus station soon. Maybe a 25, 20, 20 or 25 minute walk. Not far. And this one's free. You can just come out here anytime and walk through this gate. I'm kind of close to it, so you can't really see well through the gate. And I'm not going to go in there because I am going to post some pictures additionally on my Instagram. Thai people come out and they take care of the gravesides every day. They clip them and keep the place clean and really show great respect for these lost souls that gave everything for their country and then some. There's not many American graves here because when America liberated the camp, they took their remains of the soldiers that we had back to America. I'll put the location of this in the comments 
I'm sorry, in the description so that you can find your way out here if you ever make it to Quintana Bury. It was raining yesterday, so I didn't get to go out to Erewhon Falls. That's a nice place to go to also. It's one of the most beautiful falls in Thailand, and it's a national park. So I'm sure it'll be well maintained as well. Anyway, just want to remind you, no matter how good anybody tells you Thailand is, once you get there, it's better.